Yeah, my dog is tripping right now. So, um, okay, let me tell you something, Sergeant. Now, this is from my perspective, and this is true. I know a few white dudes who go out with sisters. Now, there's this one white dude that he's not white. You know how some people just say they light-skinned. This dude is, and the sister he with is a regular sister. And this other cat, the sister that he with is playing the role. And um, <laughs> it's funny because when I'm around this one dude and he's with, you know, the you know sister he with, she's a regular sister like, you know, she's down. She's a serious sister, you know, she's a sister sister. And, you know, he's just a white cat, but he is not a white cat. You know, because he's raised black. I mean, he's black. It's kind of hard to explain. But the white dude that's not hood with the sister, the sister back in the day, she, back in the day, she was like knuckleheadish. And now, she's clean. It's, it's different. It's kind of hard to ex explain. It's like, it's like, um, Jada Pinkett on that TV show back in the day and Whitley. You get it? She's Whitley after the white guy. It was a little street hood girl and you know, it's kind of hard to explain. But I also have to, the dog is really fucking with me. I have to also have to put, of course, that this girl is older. When I knew her, she was like a kid and uh, she's grown now. You know, but you know, she's corny as hell. <coughs> and the one, the sister that's the sister, she's with a white guy that is black. So to say that they change up, I say, yeah, when it's necessary. Um, I have seen dope, fiend ass white dudes with sisters, and the sisters are dope, fiend ass girls that act like white chicks. Um, dude, 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 no biting, man. What's wrong with you, man? You biting me, man? Come on, get on. Dude, stop it. So, um, people do change up. And I want to tell you something. Um, when I first moved out of the hood, I had been up here for about See, about a year, I go back, and everybody's talking about the way I speak. Man, dude, 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 you saying dude, you saying dude. Man, <laughs> you talk like a white boy, you saying dude. Now I go back to the hood, they saying dude, dude. So, I don't know how much of that is environment, but... To be, to have grown up most of my life in a diverse situation, whereas I'm around blacks and whites, to be in, at the crucial point in my life to be around a whole bunch of black people, and then in a later age in my life to be around another diverse group of people, after seeing what I saw in the beginning, to what I had to do in the end, to what I see right now. It's two different things because in the beginning when I was around white and black people who were both in the situation where it was all poor, I looked at people one way. Then I was around nothing but black people and we were primarily hood rich and the people around us was poor. To brother in the burbs surrounded by Mexicans It's different because the way I view white people and black people are a hell of a lot different now than when I was younger. But I see some of the negativities in both races, but you look at it differently. You look down on it when you get a certain age. So what I'm trying to say is, do people change? I've changed. People say I act white. And people look at you and say, oh, well, it's Pete. He ain't probably never, ain't never had a black woman. 
they talk all this, but I'm telling you, man, it's environmental. If you can take anybody out of the hood and put them someplace in a few months, they'd be like, damn, shit. <laughs> And a lot of people look at me, and I always go back to the one time I was on a bus, and I was going back home after visiting. And a little bitty brother, he must have been about 11 or 12 years old, riding the bus. He's on his way home. And he's like, what's up, OG? How you doing? You don't live around here no more. Remember me? I'm such and such and such. And such. I'm like, man, you was a little bitty one. He said, yeah, man. Shoot, they was telling me you was dead. Because the rumors was I was dead. And then I'm like, man, I had to get out of here, man. This is crazy. And I'm talking to an 11-year-old. He says, yeah, old man, OJ, you can leave the hood, and you can run away from all this, but it'll all come back and catch up on you. It'll catch up to you. Bite me again. Bite me again. Do it. He won't go outside. But the young brother made a lot of sense, man. And that's why I watch y'all videos. And yeah, the answer is yeah. Black women do switch up for white men. But you have to also understand this too. White men will switch up for black women too. I've seen that too. But not in the person I described in this video because he was already black. But I have seen some dudes raise they gain to be with sisters and you say to yourself as a brother damn this white boy done raised his game for a sister and sometimes when these white dudes go after sisters they don't want that snot nose ass three two tone fifteen different color hair talking about her shit and with blunt hanging her mouth they don't want them the white thugs want them. But the white men, they don't want that hood rat. They want that, if she from the hood, she don't act like it. Could have had me fooled. It'd be like one of them damn movies they be putting out every now and then. Was was it a new thing or something or whatever the girl was get? Remember Stella, she brought the gay dude back from Jamaica. Hood gay, hood thug. So, um, I don't know, man. But like I said, sisters do change. People change. It's an environmental thing. You get out of the hood, man, you will change. But also understand this. When you go back to the hood, you change back. You quit biting me, man. Shit. Had pit bulls in the hood. Move to the suburbs, get a weenie dog, and he want to bite people. Huh? we we'll take you to the hood. They have a pit bull eating your ass in 10 minutes. Michael Vick have you down for lunch. Shit. Stop. Stop it. Don't blame me. Look. Thank you, bad. Stop. Stop it. Stop it! See, I should need to take his ass to the hood. I need to leave him in the hood about a week. He won't be doing this shit in the hood. Stop it! Romeo, why are you doing that? Stand up. Up. Come on. Stand up. Come on, man. Give me some love now. You want to give me no love? Stand up. Give me some love. There you go. Stop being hard headed. What? Stop. You trying to bite me again? Give me some love. Give me your hand. Come on. See how you. See? Notice the color of this dog, right? <laughs> Stop. Come on. I'm trying to turn the computer off, man. Stop. Stop. Good dog. Hey, people do change, and when they think when they think somebody gonna make their life better, they try to change for the better. You've been too.